Oseo. Oseo. That's a Cherokee greeting. And buenos tardes. And buenos tardes para las tías, las uh, madres, for this Mother's Day today. Uh, my theme is going to be Carlos's diverse Mexico. But being as Mother's Day, let me start off with right over here. Can focus here. Our madre, comadre, our comadre Maria Alvarez, who is of the village of Guadalupe in Arizona, um, and she passed away. After she passed away, I made a memorial. I made this memorial over on the shore of the Salton Sea, which is at the east side of the Anza Borrego Desert. And I made it with the things that were laying there, so that here is this cross about five, six feet high. I made out of some wood, some logs. And uh, here this is, I have this up here, Maria del Mar, Maria of the Lake. And over here, Gloria La Lupi, Gloria. And here's a deer. Her son Leno was the deer dancer. And she also made the embroideries for the uh, deer's head. And down below you see the sandals. Feet um, for uh, the procession here. So all of this is my memorial. In other words, I made the memorial and then I did a drawing of the memorial. So the drawing is now the memorial of Comadre Maria. And you can see up here, this is the uh, Virgin of Guadalupe. It's painted on a, uh, like a roof tile, ceramic roof tile, meaning protection. And then, since this is Mother's Day, can we go down here like this? This is be my uh, Matron Mexicano. This is compared to the uh, Queen of Mexico, Virgin of Guadalupe, uh, who made her first appearance in the colonial period. However, since the revolution, uh, she has maintained her sovereignty ever since. But I also admire here that Matron of Mexico, where she is dancing on her toes there. And so even though that she's, uh, you know, very, very full body, that's why I really think um, how the, the mother of Mexico is. And here in front of her, this is an ancient or pre-Columbian a necklace made of stone beads. You'll hear about it later. I brought this back from Oaxaca in the vicinity of Monte Alban. Here. So that's how we are starting out here. Then we can go all the way up here to my centerpiece. I call this, you know, Sospechos also. That is, this shady character is saying, I am secretly admired for arousing suspicion. That's who he is there. That's my painting. And I think while we're looking at other characters of Mexico, we can come over here and we see this fellow playing the guitar. His name is Hake. And he's sitting out, out there in the desert, he's strumming his guitar. Uh, definitely a fellow you would see in Mexico. And then we can come here, if you can look at this piece right here. This is a wooden tray. Uh, it's from Lake Pascuaro. And it's featuring here, these are Tarascans, and they wear carved wooden masks that kind of like old masks, so they're called viejitos here. And the island that they are from is pictured in back of them. It's called Hanitzio. And there, in this painting, interesting, you can see, if you can focus on it, what is the semblance of a cross. What's there is actually a huge statue 
of a man who was uh, instrumental or a part of the Mexican Revolution, and he is Jose Maria uh, Morelos. Jose Maria Morel Morelos. And it's a very, very big statue, I think like 40 feet high. And I went in it, and there's murals painted inside of it, and you can go up the stairway inside and look out of his eyes here. So, why I have this here, I was a student. Uh, nearby on the shores of this lake and uh, it was actually a manor on the shore of the Lake Pascuaro here and I also had stayed with the Tarascan family on one of the islands in Lake Pascuaro which is pretty big <clears throat> and so along with that you come over right alongside of it you see this beautiful carved black lacquer mask, this would be you know, the virgin of the lake, of Lake Pazcuaro. And the way they told it to me is that the lake itself is her body and the islands are the parts of her body. I lived on the island of La Pacanda, which would be on the other side of Hanizio. And her symbol, apparently, here I brought this back, is a fish, a fish here, you know, made out of stone, and that seems to be the symbol for her. Uh, the main uh, virgin of Pascuaro is, you know, Our Lady of Health, Lady of Salud. Uh, so all that's very relevant, you know, for me. Then you can go all the way over there to this is a very qualitative print of a Mexican painting. And the painting is named Raya. And Raya also is a word for boundary. Uh, this is, you know, a hechis, hechicera, uh, an enchantress. And behind her here, this is the maw of the jaguar. This is been painted, you know, like something very ancient and made out of stone, and it's the portal. It's the portal, and peeking out way down here, just peeking out. This is an iguana, and this iguana is named Itzamna. Itzamna is the first uh, shaman or wizard. And see up here, I I have one. You can go up on top here, and you see this is to go along with this here. And so all this is certainly is pictured uh, in southern Mexico where it's like jungle, like that. And this is a marvelous Mexican painting, you know, with the portal to the other world. Now, not in the painting, but could be, but goes with it right here. This is, you know, what we call it like stained glass uh, picture for the Maca. And the Maca in Mexico, uh, as a bird, you know, is very important. Uh, I think that the main uh, native place where the bird lives is say, like southeastern Mexico, from the eastern shore of the Caribbean, probably, like this. And this piece was made by Vivian, Vivian Olds up there in Nevada. And uh, this is Itzamye. So he's very important. First, as a bird, because of his plumage, he's also a spirit. And he's also the constellation of the Big Dipper. And he is also, evidently, an earlier age, because he's also considered as the son of an early age. Maybe you could say first son. So he's kind of a um, a wizard also. Itza, Itz is like a supernatural spiritual substance. <clears throat> so the shaman or here Itzamye, you know, are bearers of this mysterious substance. <clears throat> and that all has to do also with this maw 
of the Jaguar. So we can have all of, all of that in here. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do, you can come around to me now. Well, I think I'm going to put one more thing in here. Can we come over here to this, this cross? I've actually put it with the memorial. This is a Yaki cross. This would be the Kutumbri or Pharisaeo cross that would figure, you know, like you would say, in a funeral, like that. That's a black cross, which is a transformer, and I have a scorpion on it. Um, so the scorpion is, you know, also very significant in Mexico, and the Chalcedim of the Yaki ceremony, uh, the scorpion would be relevant to them. So, in particular, um, in southern Mexico, it's the constellation of Scorpio, Scorpius, that in the early part of the year, February, the constellation begins to, to rise, 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 and as it's rising, it's raising up the cross. In Mexico, there's always been the cross, and it is the tree, the tree of life, the world tree. So the scorpion, as the raising constellation, raises up the cross, raises up the tree. So, definitely, uh, Yucatan, Chiapas in the south, and Sonora in the north are apparently on a tandem together. They go together. Now if you come back to me. Uh, this is a poem I'm going to read uh, by Octavio Paz. And the name of it is Mariposa de Obsidia, meaning the obsidian butterfly. And one of the things in here besides the obsidian butterfly is also about the Magui cactus. In other words, the obsidian butterfly is like a poetic double for the woman who inhabits the Magui cactus. And her name's Itza Paparlotl. And um, I'm trying to, trying to think of, of ways that she's, you know, very important. I would call, you know, the Magui cactus pretty much, you know, almost, you know, herself the goddess of, of Mexico. And also where Mexico City is, was once a lake, Lake Texcoco. And that, in that lake there was an island. And on that island was where the Aztecs were centered. And that was called Tenochtitlan, the place of the cactus. So part of this is going to be about that. And to go along with that, I have this here as a little um, miniature Magui in an ancient pre-Columbian pot to kind of give it a personification. <coughs> and then up here, we should show this, my shield here. Uh, this is my image for the obsidian butterfly, and here is a serpent down below. She has something to do with the vision serpent. In, in uh, Cherokee we call it Uctena, and Uctena has a crystal eye. So they're very similar, like that, the relation of her uh, and the serpent. But that's what this poem is. Obsidian butterfly, they killed my brothers, my children, my uncles. On the banks of Lake Tishkoko, I began to weep. Whirlwinds of salt rose from Grasshopper Hill, picked me up, and left me in the courtyard of a cathedral. I made myself so small, many mistook me for not but a pile of dust. Yes, I, I am the mother of Flint and Star, and I am 
pregnant with hope. But now I'm but a blue feather that a bird abandoned in the brambles. Once I would dance, turning and turning, until I became still, and then I would sprout the leaves of the Magui cactus, and the mescal throbbed in my belly. I was the mountain that engenders you in dreams, the fire under the bean pot where coyote is cooked and becomes a man. In the night of the whispering words, my sisters and I leapt and sang around the Magaway stock, a standing tower in the ray of its leaves. I still remember my songs, light, headless light, golden-throated light, so she sings in the, the cactus green. Each night is an eyelid that the thorns never stop piercing, and I am the eternity of stone beads strung in the dust. I am alone, the grain of corn pulled from the ear of time. Sound me again in thirsty ground, and I'll be the crystal in the dragon's eye. Rain down on me, give me sun. My body plowed by your body will turn into a field where the one mothers the many. Wait for me on the other side. Kiss my belly like the stone of sacrifice. In my navel, the whirlwind grows calm. I am the center that moves the dance. Rise from my eyes, and images will gush from my body. Drink in these waters to remember I am a wound that never heals. Where are my necklace? of stones to inaugurate a joyful reign. I wait for you on this side of time. There you will open my body to read the hieroglyph of my mescal heart. Thank you.